Hi everyone! Today we're continuing our discussion on adjusting entries and we're going to be talking about accruals. We'll be talking about accrued expenses and accrued revenue. And I'm your instructor Brandy. Very simply, an accrual means that something has happened but no money has been exchanged. So an accrued expense is an expense that you have incurred but you haven't paid for yet. So let's look at an example. In this example, interest of $50 has accrued on your bank loan at December 31st. So in this case, this word accrued indicates to you that this expense has been incurred but has not been yet paid. This means two accounts are going to be affected, an expense account and a liability account, a payable account. So your journal entry will look like this. Your date is December 31st. The first account you're going to use is interest expense for $50 and interest payable for $50. You're debiting your interest expense, you're increasing your expense account, you're increasing your payable, the amount that you owe to the bank. Your description is to accrue interest expense on loan. So going back to our definition of accrued expenses, an expense that has been incurred but you haven't paid for, these always end up with two types of accounts. You're going to end up with a debit to expense account and you're going to end up with a credit to a payable account. Now let's move on to accrued revenues. Accrued revenues means revenue that has been earned but not yet invoiced or billed or collected. So let's look at an example. In our example, at December 31st, 2015, Zeph's Vet Clinic has accrued revenue of $15,000. This word accrued tells you that this revenue has been earned, they haven't invoiced the client yet, and they also haven't received any money. When we have money owing from a client, it goes under our receivable account, accounts receivable. So our journal entry is going to look as follows. Our date is December 31st. We're debiting accounts receivable for $15,000 because our clients owe us money and we're crediting service revenue to increase the revenue account by $15,000. We've performed the services, so we're allowed to record the revenue amount. Our description, to record accrual of service revenue. So if we go back to our definition of accrued revenues, we're gonna add in that accrued revenues always include a debit to a receivable account, so to an asset account, and our credit is going to be to a revenue account. And that's how you deal with accruals. Thanks for watching everyone.